look at that. It's half past nine and it's absolutely soaking wet out there. Which one could argue, oh well that's a good sign. Because if it's uh, soaking wet then it means it's not frozen. So, happy days. We're not freezing, we're frigid. I'm going to put the light on because it's completely grey out there. Just uh, wall to wall, grey, no colour, no definition, just grey, always grey. I was listening to some of the farmers at the protest uh, this week and one of them said it's been raining for nine months. I'm absolutely convinced that this weather is man-made. I've never known it to be so wet. This will ruin uh, farming. And then another one of them said, uh, we're not going to have wheat next year because the government is paying us to grow wildflowers and uh, Europe is doing the same. So where do we get our wheat from? You could get it from Brazil, but in order for them to make farmland, they're rather keen on chopping up the rainforest. Whereas here, we've got the farmland, we just need to grow crops on it, as opposed to wildflowers. <clears throat> Interesting things. Interesting remarks. Oh, it's gone out. Never mind. Right, let's see if that gets going. I decided to have, not fish and chips, but I had uh, fish cake and chips last night. and uh, I was very happy with that dinner. Very happy indeed. Had my uh, coffee this morning. Had um, had it with cream as my milk was uh, smelling off. <clears throat> and um, I sort I was debating myself. I said, "Do I want coffee or do I want soup for breakfast?" And I thought. No, I'll have coffee. I've got some brioche, so um, I had bread and butter and a cream coffee. I think that was a very nice breakfast. Soup would have been more substantial. I didn't feel like waiting up that long for the for the soup to cook. <clears throat> Plus, uh, I felt like something sweet. And... Um, Brioche has got, must have a fair bit of sugar in it. Oh, I just realised I don't have my tongs on me. Uh, using on the main boiler last night to get the clinker out. Um, by the way, these smokeless ovoids, uh, they do form clinker. Not in this fire, but in the main boiler which burns continuously. They do. Um... So now I've got to do it. Uh, anyway, let's um, give this a, a tap. Wake up the wood lice and tell them that their home is now gone ski. And, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're wondering, th there was a few wood lice on this one, so I'm not putting it in. Uh, look, there's one. He's going to crawl away somewhere. Amazing those creatures can exist in such frigid environments. Must be a bit of a shock when they come in here. I like to think it's a pleasant shock for them. Oh dear. Snuffed it. Uh, I'll put a couple sticks on there. I know, like, other people will say with fires, oh, you really should get that kindling going and having actual cherries on it before putting a, a, a rain-soaked log on there. 
And yeah, you're right. And I probably should use a fire lighter as opposed to the um, chip paper. But, I mean, it was impressive for a few seconds. Now it's going out. Uh, oh, there's my lighter. Nope. Can't actually reach the fire lighter. Try again. This fire lighter is good, but it's not very dense. Now let's try one of these ones. These work. <clears throat> I saw something the other day for uh, is uh, making fire lighters out of charcoal. So show the process of putting some cut up bits of branch inside a inside a biscuit tin and oh dear we're going to lose that fire lighter there bugger can I can I rescue it all let's find out so anyway made the charcoal then put the charcoal in a Tupperware and just filled it with ethanol now one could say if all that, oh, that's you got to hand, use that, but I would argue you could use methylated spirits. I mean, it's cheap, and you know it's 100%. Um, now, is it methanol where it has an invisible flame? Either way, you soak charcoal in... Why do these pokers have this? Do you see that? That's a thread there. What? Why? Why would you engineer that? What's the point? I mean, it's not as if you're ever going to get a replacement piece to that poker, is there? I don't understand the point of that. This poker is the same, by the way. I put some Loctite in there because I got fed up with it unraveling, and I just thought. I'm never ever going to take that bill hook off. I'm never going to go, oh, I need a different attachment for my poker. So I put Loctite on the thread. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be rattling about. I've got this poker, which is reasonable. I've got this perfectly good one here to the side, which I don't use. And then I've got this absolutely rubbish one. I mean, I've got three pokers, but only one of them's decent. And this one's, I mean, it's a bill hook as well, and a bill hook is useful. Anyway, what's the temperature now? It's now gone up to 15.1 degrees. And I suspect a lot of that is just due to me talking. So when you talk, your hot breath comes out. Certainly hotter than this room. And uh, that's probably doing the, the major work here. Well, at some point, this will get going. <clears throat> well, I'll start a fire off in the corner. And then when that warms up, I can put some coal on it. Or smokeless ovoids. Oh yeah, let's open the vents right up so it can breathe. Right, that's it. Um, Do you know what? I want other hot beverages besides tea and coffee. Um, if you've got any ideas, put it in the comments below. Not hot chocolate. So something that's hot and it's not caffeinated. Hot lemon, well, there's, there's mulled wine. So certainly start doing some more wine, or I could make. Uh, as my mum, she prefer, she says, I made her more wine, 
and she said, oh, I don't like it. It's, it's, um, it's not nice. What about the one you made the other day? And I said, what, when I didn't have any orange pills, so I put orange juice in it. She said, oh, yes, that one was much nicer. It was sweeter. And I said, well, um, I made that as a compromise because I didn't have any orange peel, but if you like, I can make you some warm sangria. So I made warm sangria instead, and actually, I'm not going to be a snob about it. I liked warm sangria. Uh, very simple. You make your standard mauled wine recipe, so red wine, spices of your choice, cloves, nutmeg, and uh, cinnamon ought to be in there. But again, of your choice. And then you put some orange juice in it. So now you've got a sangria that's spiced and warm. And um, I think I shall be enjoying some of that tonight. Not now, because um, got to drive to the shops later. To your pip.